Heads. You've done it all. You have picked up the wrong life in the cloakroom of existence. You need a new life. You're beautiful. My marriage to Alsana was arranged by our respective families in 1946. Twins. Hey, you come down here and say that Spata is not a Punjabi face out. He seems nice enough. Bahadur Khan, you have been found guilty of the crime of mutiny against Her Majesty Queen Victoria. Do you have anything to say before sentence is passed? I am a martyr for the cause of our glorious nation, which has been cruelly betrayed by the treacherous and godless British, and have been forced to abandon their one and true religion, by a barbarous invader who shall be cast into the sea for his ignorant presumption, whilst I, Bahadur Khan, shall take my place in heaven with... from me. Is this it? What have I told you about skulking the bloody toilets and bleeding the wall up? Look at your ass out there. There's a bloody football team just arrived. <laughs> I should not object to the jocular Sabraike Abdul if it were at least geographically accurate, but it's not. I'm from Bangladesh, formerly East Pakistan, whereas the name Abdul is given exclusively to those born in the Arabic countries, which are many hundreds of miles to the west of my homeland. Twelve points on their way, lads. To serve the food you old fool. You're a waiter, not a visiting professor from Dhaka University. I'm not a waiter. I'm a human being. She has gone to work. Lim, what is your advice? There are nine acts which invalidate the act of fasting, Samad Iqbal. And masturbation is number three, after eating and sexual intercourse. But what if a man is not fasting? It is forbidden to have sexual intercourse with oneself. But surely if the man himself is pure, for has it not been written to the pure, all things are pure? Ajit, Airi, 
I said good evening. Hi, Mr. Iqbal. Where have you been, Samad Iqbal? If you must know, I was consulting the Aleem at the mosque on a delicate matter of theological philosophy. Mm. Well, you'll be late for the PTA meeting. Didn't Tiali mention that? Tch, we've forgotten it again, haven't you? Oh, Archie will be here any minute. Keep it down. No, Mom. Turn off that infernal noise. Sorry, Chief. It's stop with the pop. What is this, Chief? It's a colloquial term of abuse, meaning ass, wanker, or loser of colossal proportions. <laughs> Milla, go to your room. Wait! Milla! Leave the boy alone, can't you? Samadhya, don't just stand there. Let Archie in! Is Mark coming to chess club? Mark? Who Mark? There's nobody called Mark here. You must have the wrong house. Hi, Mark. Hi. Mark? What is this Mark? I give you a glorious name like Majid, Mahfuz, Murshid, Muptasim, Iqbal, and you want to be called Mark? Mark? You should be proud of your glorious name and family. Your great-great-grandfather was Bahadur Khan, the man who started the great Indian mutiny. He was a hero and a martyr. He was a man who changed the world. What does it matter, Abu? You're just a waiter. Pop in, Sam. Have you ever been crushed by the feelings that your whole life was a waste of time? Have you ever confronted your God, Archie, and demanded of him, why am I here? It will be light. I think I'll walk. Remember? Uh, yeah, yes, Mrs. Barjons. Uh, excuse me, I was. Did you want a lift? You're going for PTA meeting, aren't you? Thank you. Not at all. And it's Miss. I'm so proud of the twins, Mr. Iqbal. Please call me Samad. Oh. An interesting name. So vigorous somehow. Um, item three? Item three is the Harvest Festival, tabled by Mr. Iqbal. And there he is, just on time. Over to you, Mr. Iqbal. Uh, yes, uh, Mrs. Minimer. My point is, why do we have to have a harvest festival? And why must my children celebrate it? Mm. Yes, Mr. Iqbal. Well, the school recognizes a great variety of religious and also secular events. Here, here. From Yom Kippur to Ramadan and the death of Martin Luther King and the Harvest Festival is part of our ongoing commitment towards cultural diversity. And are there many pagans in the school, Mrs. Miniver? <laughs> uh, it's, it's Ms. Ms. Miniver. Uh, I'm sorry. I understood you were divorced. Uh, yes, that's right. But, um, well, I, I just feel that marital status shouldn't be an issue. Here, here. Here, here. Yeah. Yeah. The Christian calendar has 37 religious events and the Muslim calendar has only nine. And they are being squeezed out by this plague of Christian festivals. I say some of them have to go. And what better place to start than this harvest thing? You know, this is just the kind of parental involvement we need. Well, I'm afraid removing Christian festivals from the face of the earth is rather beyond my jurisdiction. <laughs> but this is my point precisely. Where in the Bible does it say, thou must steal foodstuffs from thy parents' fridge and bring them into school assembly? <laughs> Where does it say, you must take a box of frozen fish fingers and a coconut to an aged crone that dwelt in Wilson? Mr. Iqbal, 
This school condemns cultural fascism and religious imperialism wherever it finds it. Except the Harvest Festival. Touché. <laughs> right, um, shall we take a vote on it? Yes. Yeah. Hard luck. Well, thank you for your support. I don't think we've been properly introduced. Marcus Malfin, my wife, Joyce. Our son Josh is in the same class as your twins. Oh, yes, uh, of course. They, they often speak of him. Oh. No surprise there, Joyce. Josh is quite a character. Oh, I'm sure it's his academic achievements which have caught the eye. Oh, Marcus, you must forgive a certain amount of paternal pride, Mr. Iqbal. My husband is something of an academic. Are you in academia, Mr. Iqbal? Uh, me? No. I, uh, I... I own a restaurant. Really? Well, can we offer you a lift? Thanks, no. Archie's dropping me home. Well, cheerio, then. Samad! I thought you were brilliant in there. You really put Katie Miniver in her place. I think it's just... just so refreshing to get the Eastern perspective. Uh, can I give you a lift home? Come on. Sam, Ed, pop in. We still make the last orders. Uh, I'm sorry, Archie. One of the bloody teachers wants to talk to me about something. Oh, dear. What's Millet done now? I dread to think. It may take some time. There's no problem, I'll wait. No, no, really. You'd better get off. Uh, I'll be fine. I should, Coco. I'll send her out of my guts for garters. I'll just wait. Listen, Archie, bugger off. <laughs> Don't you worry about me. I've got me paid. Very well. I'm just so interested in Indian culture. I always tell the children there's so much we can learn about other people from their culture. People are like camels. There's barely one in a hundred you can trust with your life. <laughs> You're very funny. I am? Oh, yeah. I think so. is pure and truthful, then truly, where's the sin?
Why do we have to have Josh Malfin in our group? Super! Off you go then. I won't be back between chips today. Just need to do a few errands. Things. Papa kehte hai bada naam karega, beta hamara aisa kam karega, magar ye to koi na jaane. Papa kehte hai bada naam karega. I thought that was Christmas. Hey Josh, what's in the box? It's a hamper, actually. It's a hamper. <laughs> uh, come on, Irene. Mira! I simply cannot eat anything unless it has been pulverised beforehand. My own fault. Years of neglect. Never a priority in the army, dental hygiene. One sometimes forgets the significance of one's teeth. We're not like the lower animals, teeth replaced regularly, etc. We're mammals, you see. But, on the other hand, clean white teeth are not always an advantage. When I was in the Congo, it was dark as buggery, but one could always spot the nigger by the whiteness of his teeth. Poor bastards. Stomachs open, oh. guts on your shoes. Beautiful boys enlisted by the Krauts. I want to go home. My dad was in the British Army. Dear me, no. There were certainly no wogs. You stupid, stupid old bastard! It's the wisdom teeth that get you in the end, of course. They're your father's teeth, you see, and a man must grow into them or it all goes wrong. And when they start to rot, there's no way back.
Uh, are they for me? Oh, yes. Thank you. Um, coconut. Uh, it's a mixed up thing. It's brown and rough on the outside, but white and fresh and juicy, <laughs> uh, like a fruit inside. We use it in curry sometime. It's lovely. Um, shall I put these in water? Surely it's only natural. Not that anything has happened yet, natural or otherwise, as you know. And if it is natural, then it must be in accordance with your wishes. Don't worry, the wiring on the whole street's pretty dumb. Forgive me. Miss Bud Jones? I have made a terrible mistake. I should not have come here today. I'm a married man and a Muslim. You are my son's teacher. I beg you to forget my impudence and stupidity in the car the other night. I was not myself. This cannot happen. Sorry, what were you saying? To the pure. All things are pure. You may be a tree, you know? The man just running errands. No. There is something strange about him lately. I mean, he never bathes before work. You know, he didn't even object when I packed the twins off with their harvest festival offerings this morning. Something is definitely going on. Niece of shame? Hmm? What is this latest perversion you're peddling, huh? Jesus! Man, how the other half live? What other half? The other half that gets some passion once in a while. <laughs> it's too late for regrets, Clara. You married Archie on the rebound and there it is. Anyway, he's a good man. Could have done a lot worse. Samad Mia, for instance. Look, if you think he's up to something, why don't you just ask him? <laughs> the very idea. That is so typical of you. There is no communication. Hey, I don't need him. advice on marriage from a sex-crazed lesbian. Thank you very much, huh? You are just no, You see, jealous. the truth is, niece of shame, for a marriage to survive, this is exactly what you should avoid. Hmm? All this talk, talk, talk business. Especially when your husband is all wrinkly and falling apart. So let me get this straight. You're telling me that the key to a healthy marriage is repression? Exactly. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> you know, for myself, I can't believe homosexuality is that much fun. Heterosexuality certainly isn't. I'm a Muslim and a married man. You're my son's teacher. So the pure, all things are pure. Juma! 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 Goes wherever I Imagine. go, so does me go. Walk through the fields where the flowers are growing. Carve out your names on the first tree. You see, there are 22 catches. When you strike your matches, you get down on your knees in the tunnel. Hi, Nana. Hello, 
Mr. Tops. Nana? Your grandfather has gone on before us to face the wrath of the Lord, child. You will have to tell your godless mother pick me, because I'm not speaking to her. Oh. Jehovah, I beseech you. Bagpuss gave a big yawn and settled down to sleep. Five one two. What now? <laughs> I'm currently conducting an adulterous affair with Bud Jones. An affair? Poppy Bird Jones. Well, I'm shocked, Sam, and I am. I mean, she teaches our kids. She shouldn't be up to that sort of nonsense. Damn it, Archie, that's not the point. The point, Archie, is this. Every time I look at my twins, my heart shatters. I keep thinking, how can I offer my boys any moral and spiritual guidance when I myself have lost my bearings? when I myself am unutterably corrupt. Well, if I was you, Sam, I'd pack it in with Mrs. Burt Jones. I really would. Miss, Miss Burt Jones. But, on the other hand, out of sight, out of mind, least said, soon is mended. So what I say is, heads you pack it in, tails you don't. I can't decide my life on the toss of a coin. I'm a Muslim. Well, the gambling, boozing, philandering sort of Muslim. Heads. Best of three? No. Allah has spoken. This lustful madness has no future. To the poor, all things are poor. Still awake, my son. Has intercourse taken place? No. Samadhi should never have gone all religious. All that guilt, it's no good for you, Yar. It's not guilt, Shiva. It's fear. At my age, you become concerned about your faith. You don't want to leave things too late. I've been corrupted by England. <laughs> it's just a normal midlife crisis. What nonsense you babble. I should not have come to this country. It was the start of all my problems. Who can live in such a godless wasteland? Who can raise children in such a place? Wild graffiti, condoms on pavements, harvest festivals, teacher temptresses, Mrs. Thatcher. Well, go back home then. 
on what we earn in this miserable sweatshop. How is it possible? We are trapped. Trapped in this chicken tikka purgatory. She's not sick, is she? English. Ay, 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 ay. It never works. Too much history. I'm weak. I'm weak. Give me a sign. Do you not really interest me about Indian culture? Tell me what I must do. I must have a sign. Not the music Without the a sign, I can do nothing. It's not even the mysticism. It's incredible self-control, you know? It's that spiritual thing, like you have in India. I'm from Bangladesh. Message. A beacon sent to light my way in the darkness. Nasty looking piece of work. This dear friend is a portrait of a man who started what you English call the Great Indian Mutiny. This is my great grandfather, Bahadur Khan. His sacrifice, Archie, brought a nation to take up arms against an alien ruler and culminated in a mass uprising without parallel in world history. This Archie was a man who said no to the filth, the corruption and the perversions of the infidel. This Archie was a man who made a stand. Ooh, that's mahogany, you know. How much was it? This painting, Jones, was sent to me as a warning. First, the fornication with Miss Bart Jones must end. Um. I thought we already had. And second, I must be true to my religion, my family, my past. I too must make a stand. What sort of stand? Stand against the corruption of the West. I must save my sons from eternal damnation. I must return them to their roots. I must return them to Bangladesh. Crikey. Elsie. <laughs> Can't believe this has happened. <laughs> Elsana, my love, I'm sorry. I can explain. I can explain everything, uh, if you will only listen. Stupid idiot! You think I'm incapable of understanding what has happened? Of course, of course, you are angry and you have a right to be. Of course I'm angry! But what did you expect? But can't you find it in yourself to forgive? Never! But don't you realize there'll be blood on the streets back home because of this? Oh, must you tell your family? They would have already heard by now, you idiot! With all the world service everywhere! It is? Of course! Haven't you heard? Indira Gandhi has been assassinated, gunned down by her own treacherous bodyguards in revenge for Amritsar. <laughs> now there'll be riots at home, jihads, revenge attacks, people dying everywhere. 
I think I'll allow my own dead children are safe from all that madness. Perhaps this stupid country is not their home. At least they won't die in the gutter like rats. <laughs> what did Alsi say to your plan, then? Although she certainly will welcome the idea in principle, she may need a little time to grasp the finer points of detail. You have told her everything. On reflection, I have decided it would definitely be better for you to break it to her when they're safely on the plane. What, me? Of course, who else? Oh, crikey, Sam, I don't know about that. Thank you, Archie. I'm not ungrateful. What about Miss Burt Jones? Was she all right about everything? When you get to my age, Archie, you realize the secret of life is timing. Blimey, you haven't told her either, have you? I thought perhaps next time you went to a PTA meeting, you might have a quiet word. Oh, I'd love to help you out, old son, but uh, I'll tell you what, why don't we toss for this one? Don't worry, Archie. Allah is great. I suppose you want me to lend you the bloody money as well. No, Archie, thank you. As you anticipated, the bank did not relish the idea. And I must make my own financial arrangements to send the twins home. But I do not beg for favours from friends. When I am owed a fortune by my own family. You are? Oh, yes. Over the years, my greedy pig of a cousin, Ardashir, has grown fat and rich from my labours. But now, it's payback time. Cousin. May I have a word? What is it? Simply this. I have been working here for some ten years. Ten years as a faithful servant to this establishment. I feel the time has come for my contributions to our business to be honored in a more substantial way. Don't mistake, Mr. Mart. We are both intelligent men. Thank you. I understand your position, but you must understand mine. If I made allowances for every relative of mine who asked for a massive pay increase, well, for example, that fat no good butcher has raised the price I have to pay for his stinking meat. But Mohammed, I said, we are family. Yes, yes, how does she? He says to me, but this is business. You see what I'm saying? It's hopeless, Archie. Whichever way I do the sums, however I remortgage my house, whatever I borrow and scrape together, I have only sufficient money to send one of my sons back to Bangladesh. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Yeah. Go. Yeah. So the question is, which one? Yeah. The pompous know-it-all who wants to be English or the yeah. idle good-for-nothing who wants to be American? Come on. Well, send magic. Majid? Why Majid? Well, Miller's the best out and out striker I've seen at his age. Lose him and the whole team falls apart. Football? You talk to me of football in a crisis like this? Well, no. But, um, think about it. Majid is clever. He'll settle in quicker, learn the language quicker. Yes, Archie, but on the other hand, Millat is a rebellious nature. It is he who is most in need of spiritual and moral redirection. It is he who would surely benefit most from the teachings of Islam. Milad! Milad. Goodbye, my son. One day, you will thank me one day. Abu? Majid. Why did Miss Bart Jones kiss you? I saw you on the high street. She kissed you on the lips. Have you mentioned this to anyone? No, Abu. Change your plan, Archie. It has to be Majid. Majid? You sure? 
Absolutely, Majid it is. The sooner he's on a plane to Bangladesh, the better. Right, see you. What's put all this on? Never mind. Otherwise, everything is as we discussed. The twins will come for a sleepover at your place tonight, while Clara and Alsana will go and see Splash at the Odeon. Wait till you are sure they're asleep. Then sneak in. Carry Majid out to your car and drive over here without waking him up. Simplicity itself, even for you. Samad, Marcus Melfin, remember? And my wife, Joyce. Oh, uh, hello. And this is Josh. We've been meaning to try out your restaurant for ages. We love ethnic food, don't we, Marcus? We do. And of course, it's an important part of Josh's all round social education. <laughs> Please. Good evening, sir. So, what are your specialities here? Randi uh, baji or sand kagum. Mm, sounds delicious. I love this curry. Goodness, what a choice. Isn't that? Thank you. Listen, Shiva, uh, they, they think it's my restaurant. Oh, two weeks tips. What? Make that three. Remember me? I meant to call you. It must have slipped my mind. Miss Park Jones, I regret to inform you that our sinful dear Jean has come to an end. What? My forefathers have spoken to me. <laughs> they gave me a sign. Oh, they did, did they? Uh, that's it, then, is it? It's over. Please, please keep your voice down. I don't want to keep my voice down. I'm sorry, I have... Nothing more to say. Nothing more to say? What, no cheesy Eastern wisdom on offer? Uh, I think we're ready. Uh, are you ready to order, madam? No. I'm ready to talk. Are you ready to talk? What a talk, you two-faced bastard. I'm talking to you! Too much history. Um... Any papadums, madam? Something to drink? Screw your papadums! I want an explanation. Sana, people fight. Sana, Tarate. We're ready. Well then. Uh, I think we're ready. Sana. You're so bloody late. I couldn't tell him apart. I had to wake one of them up, and it was Millet. Oh. Imagine wouldn't leave without Irie and. I've had it. He's fired. Your head waiter now, Shiva. Come. Come. It's raining again. I'm hearing it's Peter Pan. It's right in the street. 
Will I be back for Monday, Abby? It's chemistry first thing. Yes, I did. I promise. country is tearing us apart. This country is tearing us apart.